today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do your ears after you get them pierced. Like how to clean them and stuff. With the so We got ours in Claire's. So ear all, care solution. Mm -hmm. See? And the top is going to look like this. Yeah. You have to take the lid off of it. You're going to get you a Q-tip. Mm-hmm. And you're going to get your stuff and you're just going to pour some on there. Yeah. Most likely do you it. would do it in the bathroom over the sink. I yes. would not suggest to do it in the kitchen. Then you're going to circle around the earring. Then kind of get try to get under your earring. You can do a little bit on the earring, but it's better to just circle around and under. Then you're going to like kind of flip your ear up. I'm gonna go around this part and kind of go to the hole. Then next year, take the same Q-tip. Okay, guys. Sometimes this it. will burn. Yes, that the first day, the first time it will burn. Yeah. Now you take the other side of the Q-tip and you kind of pour some on. Then you take the Q-tip in a circle. This is our little sister, Lizzie. And so, then you're going to do the same thing to this ear. Yeah. And rotate a little bit. Okay. Then you take a... Cotton ball. Cotton ball. And usually you're going to take one of them other nail flat. things, the, the flat ones, the yeah. squares. But we ran out of those so we can use cotton balls. All you got to do is tear it apart a little bit. You can't... Like, make sure you don't have it. You kind of squish it on your thumb yeah. and s pour some of that stuff on your thumb. Then kind of dab your earring. Alyssa, the hamster, the hamster slid keeps on coming off. Will you please help me get it back on? And then you dab some more. You do well, this three times a day for six weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.